Hey guys, Stellar here. I'm back with another video for you guys, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the St. Jude crap that's going on. I have had some thoughts and opinions to share, but I haven't had time to sit down and make a video. And this video is probably going to be all over the place because I really have not sat down and mapped out what I want to say, but I have a lot to say, just haven't had the time. So that's what I'm doing in this video. And look, some people might not like what I have to say, some people might want to hear what I have to say, whatever it might be. I just wanted to say I'm not on any train or jumping on any bandwagon or anything like that. The thoughts and opinions that I share with you guys are my own thoughts and opinions. I'm not being influenced by anybody. I'm not listening to anybody. I don't have anybody in my ear. I'm just sharing what I think from the things that I see. And if you ask me, I think it's all crazy. I think it's absolutely crazy, but I'm watching. I sure am. Anyhow, I want to start off with the call. Okay, there was a Discord call that was put on YouTube. Now, I'm unfamiliar with Discord. I don't know what that is. I've never been a part of a Discord call group, whatever it is. But I've seen a lot of mixed reactions with this call that was put out. And I've seen some people, you know, like, upset like why why did they put it out there did it really have to be put out there and I've seen some people saying yes you know awesome we wanted to hear this we get to hear what they talked about in this discord thing and there's a lot of people who are confused like myself I'm kind of confused because I'm like well what I've heard over the past few days really has confused me I don't understand okay I get that the call was to inform members I guess whoever's on whatever to inform them what was going to be said or what was happening or what had happened with the St. Jude money or the St. Jude situation. So I get that part. But just some of the things I'm hearing today, I'm just kind of like, hmm, doesn't make sense to me. It does not make a whole lot of sense. But for myself, I was glad that this call was put out there for the public to hear because I feel like there's still so much that we are in the dark about so this kind of gave us a little inside. But the only issue I'm having when I'm seeing people like say, well, I don't understand why this had to be made public, why this call was put out there. Well, if you listen to the call, which I have, you will hear Wendy say time and time again, this is a public discord. This is not private. This is public. Um, this is something that might get out to the public. This will probably end up by getting out to the public. This is a public conversation, public discord, however that works. So I didn't hear that, oh, this is private or that somebody went in and recorded this privately, that this was public. So I'm like, okay, what's the big deal? If Wendy herself is telling whoever's in this discord thing, uh, this might be public, made public someday, well, what's the issue? What's the deal? If that was put out there, I mean, obviously it was known that this was a public thing or could be a public thing so I don't see what the issue is um, and that's another thing uh, the hypocrisy here it seems like whenever there's something that's done behind the scenes or in private if it benefits the situation then it's okay but if it's something that's not going to benefit the situation then no 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 that's a big no no it shouldn't be happening hypocrisy but I think that the call was a good thing because I really do feel that people have lost focus as to what is the most important thing at hand and isn't it where is the money what happened to the money what amount was quote unquote allocated to St. Jude that's the focus right correct me if I'm wrong because I know that people have really gotten away from what the focus should be because you know people are wondering where's Diane or what does Diane look like or what did Diane do in the past? Now we had a brief um, history lesson and I'm not gonna talk about the person because I don't talk about her anymore. I stopped making videos about her a long time ago. And I was kind of sitting back like, how is that relevant? Why is she being brought up? And then I thought, okay, I get it because people want to show a particular pattern with Diane, a particular behavior of Diane's. Okay, great, we've had the history lesson. Um, now that person has gone on to do her own thing and isn't caught up in this. I have not heard the ladies night bunch mention this person. So yeah, we had a little brief history lesson. Let the person do what she's doing, okay? Get back to the issue that 
should be focused on, and that is, for those of you who donated, I said I didn't donate, um, but now I'm interested and I want to know what happened to the money. How much was allocated to St. Jude? Now, I keep on hearing that. Uh, well, the amount that was allocated to St. Jude went to St. Jude. That's all you have to worry about. Everything that was allocated to St. Jude went to St. Jude. And as a viewer who's watching this, you know, as a bystander, not somebody who donated money, I'm like, okay, that, I get that, okay. The money that was allocated, that you say was allocated to St. Jude, went to St. Jude. But throw a ballpark figure out there. Give me a ballpark figure. How much was, quote unquote, allocated? If you're so sure and certain that the amount that was allocated to St. Jude went to St. Jude, throw a ballpark figure out there. Throw, throw me a bone. Maybe that'll satisfy me. That's how I'm thinking. As a person with common sense, throw, throw me a ballpark figure. I mean, hell, lie. Make up a ballpark figure if you have to. I mean, it's not like you haven't lied to us before. Just make up a little lie, right? Just give us an amount that was allocated, that was donated on your behalf to St. Jude. But the more I thought about it, I thought, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not going to happen because... Once an amount is put out there, then that ties that amount to the situation. And that's where things get sticky, right? So yeah, we're not going to get an amount that was allocated to St. Jude because I, they don't want to tie themselves to that. So that's my conclusion with that. But the thing is, stay focused on what needs to be the focus. And that is getting to the bottom of the money that was promised to St. Jude. And a story. Okay, so moving on. Um, now, I have been watching some of Randy and Wendy's live streams. And as I'm listening, you know, there are things that I want to respond to. There's things, there's questions I want to ask. But the only thing that really bothers me, because I lurk in the chats. I don't talk in the chats. Sometimes I'm there, sometimes I'm not. But I don't want to put anything in the chat, a question, anything, because then right away it's like, you want a link? You want a link? You want to come up? You want to? Come? I don't want to come up. I don't want to get in an argument. I don't want to be talked over. I don't want people to say like, oh, well, you shouldn't feel that way, or I didn't mean it that way. So I'm I'm gonna say what I have to say, and then be done with it. But yeah, there were a few things that I wanted to respond to. Okay, so the first thing I want to get at is this newest revelation that there were some issues between. Wendy and Diane for about a year now. Now, you know, she didn't go too deep in it, and that's okay. I don't think we should be privy to things that happen between them personally. But the only issue with that is, you know, it's thrown out there to us, and now we're going to sit back and we're going to start making up our own theories as to what the issues were. I'm sitting here thinking maybe it was egos, maybe it was people that the two of them didn't like, didn't agree with, maybe that was an issue, whatever it might be. Okay, I get it. I mean, it's really nobody's business to, for them to have put any of their issues out there or talk about their issues. You know, I had a similar situation um, with a former group. I had issues with one particular person and it was kept quiet. And then when I finally had enough, I just put it all out there. So who knows? Maybe that'll come at a later date. I don't know. But the issue I'm having with that is... If you had problems, if you weren't feeling the same way you were feeling before, how in the world do you go so hard for a person that you're kind of not feeling? You know, I, I don't understand that part. And in that call, going back to the call, Wendy's going pretty hard at herself and taking a lot of the blame that was going on with this whole St. Jude situation. You know, where she's saying like, oh, well, I should have never said... All the monies went to St. Jude. I'm wrong for thinking that. I was wrong for saying that. I was wrong. And I'm like, how are you going so hard for this person that, according to Wendy, Diane said, you know, my money, none of your business. At that point, I'd have been like, okay, your money, your business. Don't put anything on me. You deal with it. And I sure the hell would not have been sticking my neck out for somebody who told me, none of your business. What happened with the money is none of your business. So that's the part I'm really baffled about. I don't get that. I don't understand how you're having issues with somebody, whatever happened privately, whatever, you know, caused these feelings to come up, but yet to go 
so hard to protect somebody, to defend somebody. I mean, Wendy was running that conversation, the call, you know, where it's like, okay, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. So I'm like, what? But yet you had problems with her for a year or you had feelings about her? It doesn't make sense to me, but whatever, you know, whatever. I, that's just my two cents on that, okay? And one other thing I want to add to that, I see... Wendy get really defensive when people will say, well, why are you still defending Diane? Why are you coming across as you're still defending Diane? And she gets defensive and says, I don't know what you mean. I'm not defending her. I haven't talked to her. I'm telling you people I'm not friends with her. I don't care what she does. We've gone different directions. And she gets really, I guess, annoyed by people asking that. And, you know, I've sat back and kind of questioned too, like, how do you not see that you're still defending this person? And not so much because she doesn't want to spill the dirt on her, but because of the actions, the things that she says, the things that she does. And what I'm talking about, and I'm going to share this clip, fair use, okay, I'm using it to make a point here. Uh, Randy and Diane were on a stream. I don't even know when, this was maybe last week, I don't remember, I can't keep up, two weeks ago, whatever it might be. And... Diane said something about Wendy and I was listening to that and I was like dang shade shade on somebody who's sticking their neck out for you really wow that's what my reaction was like really the nerve and Wendy had a stream and somebody asked her about it and I was like yeah cool I want to know how do you feel about that how how did you feel and Wendy kind of just dismissed it like oh well that's not what she said that's not what I heard what I heard was and I'll play the clip here, and then we'll talk about it. Uh, Wendy, what is your thought on the clip that was released of Diane saying you didn't care about the kids and Randy had to tell her to stop? Uh, I don't believe that that was actually what the clip said. Uh, yeah, Wendy worked so hard for the kids. Yeah, okay. Stop. Uh, my understanding is the clip said uh, she was basically saying that I didn't do shit for that channel. Uh, and she's right. I didn't do shit for that channel. Uh, she did everything. Can you when you work so hard for the kids? Yeah, okay. Stop. Let me tell you, as somebody who has always liked Wendy, and I've never had any issues with Wendy before, um, I just was like, what? Are you serious? I, I mean, did you hear the same clip that I just listened to, and you're going to just dismiss it and just blow it off? Like, oh, yeah, no, that's not what she said. Um, she didn't say that at all. You know, she just said that I haven't done shit for the channel and she's not lying because I haven't done shit for the channel and I'm not offended because there's more to the clip. I didn't play it all. And I'm like, what? Come on. How are you going to let somebody discredit you like that and be okay with it and just brush it off and then get upset when people are saying, well, you're still defending Diane. You're still defending Diane. And I'm sitting back like, how? How does that happen? Here, Wendy is sticking her neck out for Diane. And Diane's like, oh, yeah, all right, whatever, whatever. I don't get it. I, I don't get it. I don't understand it. And as somebody out here who's watching, I'm like, what does this woman have over Wendy that she's going to kind of dance around it and just be like, oh, okay, that's not what she meant. I heard it, and I pretty much think I know what she meant. And I, I don't get it, you know, and she's like, and then Wendy's saying, like, I didn't do anything for the channel. If you're up there for hours co-hosting, that's doing something for the channel. Yeah, maybe you're not putting money into it, you know, because it takes so much money to run this channel where somebody's just sitting there talking. I mean, I'm sitting here talking. This is not costing me anything. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. And that's the part that really baffles me. I don't know. I guess you could say that at this point, I'm just kind of disappointed and pissed off because people that I once had respect for, you know, I, I just don't respect anymore because just the actions, I don't get it. I don't understand it. And I almost feel as though Brandy and Wendy are doing this juggling act for the crowd while Diane is sneaking out the side back door of the stage. And it doesn't make sense to me, and it's just very aggravating to me. I mean, does it matter? Does my thoughts and opinions matter on the situation? No, but I'm just sharing them with you guys. And with that said, um, I know that Wendy keeps on saying, like, you know, I'm done with Diane. I, I don't want nothing to do with Diane. And I heard it a few times when Wendy and Randy were on a stream, 
And Randy's kind of like, well, I just want things to go back to normal. And I get it because with the situation I was in with our group, my former group, uh, there were some people in there that kind of felt like that, you know, like we just want to fix things and we just want to put things together and, and it wasn't going to happen. And, you know, basically it just came down to, look, this isn't going to work. Just stop talking about it and we'll just move on and be done with it. And I think for myself, it's kind of irritating when I hear a stream and Randy is kind of basically telling Wendy, she said this, I couldn't find the clip. I was looking for it, but I'm, I'm not going to sit there through these hour streams to look for it. And Randy basically said, I think when it was all coming out that there were some issues between um, Wendy and Diane, Randy's like, you know, I thought everything was okay. I thought everything was okay. You know, you're fine yesterday and then today something different. But then in a recent stream is like, well, I knew, I knew there was problems. It's like, well, which is it? You didn't know there was problems or you knew that there was problems. And not only that, if Wendy is now telling you, I'm done with Diane, I want nothing to do with Diane, why is Randy still pushing the issue? I get that, you know, she wants the three musketeers back, if you will, but according to Wendy, it's not going to happen. And I don't blame her. So I'm going to drop some more clips in here so I can... Um, give my response on them, but this is a clip of what I'm talking about here about the whole friendship thing when Wendy is trying to say, you know, I'm done with it and Randy's just kind of like, well, hold on a minute and I don't get that because for me, it's like when I tell somebody I don't want nothing to do with them, I'm done, just let it be. Quit trying to push the issue with me, but that's just me. But anyhow, well, let's take a look. I think Wendy, and I've said this, I've said this since you went live that morning, y'all need to talk. And if it's a screaming match and y'all need to scream at each other, then do that. And that way, things come out more clear. That's what I'm saying. There's that. Okay. Um, I'll speak to her uh, after she goes live and tells the community what they need to hear so that they can heal. And if it's genuine, then then I'm, I might speak to her. But until then, no, I'm not going to speak to her. Or, and I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm not going to speak to her. She needs to come live and tell people what she's been promising to tell them for weeks. Months. How many? How long has this been going on now? Two I months. Don't know. I think we're coming up on two months. I mean, that's crazy. That's ridiculous. I have to tell you, as I heard that, I was really getting irritated. I was like, "Are you not listening to this?" Because I don't like when people do that. When I'm sharing my feelings, and they're like, "Well, no, I think you should do this, and I think this, and I think that." Now, again, these two are friends, so yeah, they might have you know a different understanding. But for me, it's like when I say I'm done with somebody or I'm done with the situation, I'm done with it. Leave me alone. If I want to change my mind about it, that's on me. I don't need you trying to battle and say what I should and shouldn't be doing. So yeah, when I heard that, I was like, "Why? What's the point?" If Somebody is telling you that they are done with a particular person because they haven't kept their end of the promises made to them. Let it be. Let it go. Quit meddling. That's just my opinion on it. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to kind of share my thoughts on that. It just really irritated me. Someone said that it couldn't hear my outrage. Well, you know what? Because I'm not on here showing it. But I think Wendy has heard my outrage to Diane, with Diane. So how about that? I have, yeah. Yeah, we both, you know, we both have yelled at her and yeah, what what good does it do? And what good would it do? Not a damn thing. It doesn't matter. She doesn't care. It, it doesn't get, do any good to get on here and rage at others about what happened. I'd have to be honest with you. When I heard that, I was like, "What? Wait a minute. What? So you're not going to be on here showing your outrage for the situation that has turned into a complete shit show that has completely shattered this community, but you're not going to come on here and show your outrage because What's it going to, you know, what, what's it going to help? It's not going to help anybody if you get on and scream and rage about the situation, right? And I'm thinking to myself, but I've seen all of them do it before, you know, go publicly and just scream their heads off at everybody. Let them, you know, just let them have it publicly. But in this situation, it's not going to be done publicly. I've done it privately, but not publicly because what's the point? What's the point? And I was thinking about this and I was like wait a minute rewind a little bit I remember Randy being on live stream and she was in her car and she was losing her shit on Yabba I did not know what happened till this day I still don't know what happened 
And she was just like, F you, you have a F you, what F you? And I mean, just, just let her have it. And I'm just like, whoa, what happened? What happened? You guys have been good friends since way back when, since, since I could remember. What happened? And like, she's just shredding her with these words and just screaming, driving down the road, like, ha ah! ha ha. So I'm like, but you'll do that to Yaba, who was a good friend of yours, but you won't do it in this situation. You don't want to show your outrage, but you're doing it privately. You're not going to show your outrage for this situation that is like so crazy. I don't get it. Do you get what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm like, what? What is going on here? There's something more that is going on here. Something more that we don't know about. Diane has something over these two. I don't know. I'm left with my theories because I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on. So I sit out here and, you know, come up with all these conspiracies just like everybody else. But yeah, that right there is like, hmm, that's just a little weird. You'll go publicly over certain situations. You'll rant and scream about certain situations. But this whole situation, you're not going to show outrage. You're going to do it privately. Kind of weird if you ask me. But those are just my thoughts and opinions on that. But in the end, does it really matter what I have to say? Does it really matter my opinions? Do they hold any value? No. I'm just a viewer like everybody else who likes to share my thoughts and opinions with others who are watching the same exact craziness that I'm watching. So, I mean, it is what it is. You know, some people might not like what I have to say. Um, some people, it might be hard for them to hear what I have to say. I might not want to hear it. Um, and that's okay. I don't expect everybody to agree with what I've said or like what I've said. But those are my thoughts and opinions on what I'm seeing. I just wanted to respond to some of the things and that's that. So the only piece of advice I can give to people who are going to hold on and continue forward, because I think really this community is divided. I think people are going to go their own way. I don't think there will be any more ladies' nights. What the other people decide to do with their channels, that's up to them. As far as myself, I I really don't have desire to, you know, get into any of that anymore. Um, it's just, don't get so emotionally invested. And I think that's where people have a problem, is that they really get emotionally invested in all of this. I would love that. Um... If people would love to come up and say, it hurts me when you blah, blah, blah. That is what I like to hear. It hurts you. If Okay. When I said this, it hurt you. When, um, that's what I, you know, if the person that was coming at me on Twitter, I said, you know, it hurts me when you say this. It hurt me when you do this. That is what I like. Not the uh, cryptic messages that, that they think I can read their mind because I can't uh, read your mind. I don't know how you feel. You have to tell me how you feel. Are you hurt? I'm hurt. Okay, now I'm going to respond to that really quickly before I get off here. In my last video, I shared something that Randy had put out on Twitter, which I took to heart and it hurt me. Um, I don't know if she listened to my last video. I don't know. Uh, I don't know that it matters to her, but... Yeah, I was hurt by that. I was hurt because, although it wasn't directed to me, and I've said this before, people just need to be a little bit more observant as to what they put out there because you never know who's watching, reading, or listening, and they might take it to heart. And I did. And it hurt me. But I'm okay now. <laughs> I really am. Um, disappointed, sure. A lot of things in this situation have hurt me, as well as hurt other people. Only difference is I don't think you're going to get a whole lot of people coming forward and saying, oh, I'm hurt by this because they're just basically, I'm done. I'm over it. But I'll give you the courtesy, if you're listening, to know that, yeah, that hurt me. You saying, um, you know, the tweet was, I don't sweat people that I've never had real friendships with. And that's okay. That is really okay. I don't know that our quote-unquote friendship was what you call a friendship if it wasn't outside of YouTube, never called you, never sent you DM, uh, text messages. We DM'd every once in a while. Um, but I was a supporter for a long time, and I let a lot of things slide. I did. But, um, yeah, I was hurt. But like I said, I'll, I'll be okay. I'll get over it. And I wish everybody the best. You know, do what you need to do for yourselves. Do what you need to do for your channels. If you decide to keep on dragging people on your channels, so be it. You know, it's just something that I won't be participating in. Um, I just see a lot of hypocrisy. And 
a little drama's okay, but you know, just I don't know, I, I, whatever. <laughs> so anyhow, I just wanted to put that out there that yeah, I've been hurt by a lot of things that I've seen happen, and that's okay. I'm not emotionally invested in anything anymore. I'm not going to let myself get too um, carried away with that. But I'll be around, lurking, probably not participating. I don't know. Um, and if I have to opinionate, I will. But, yeah, that's that. And soon enough this will blow over, but I'm sure it'll kick back up and go round and round because that's how it goes in the drama community. Anyhow, that's all I have to say about any of that. So that's going to be it for me, and that's going to be it for this video. Remember, each and every one of you are awesome. Now go out there and make it a stellar day.